What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We are here with Ari, and we are in the Grim Forge over here in the Underdark. Once again, I think all we got left is to craft the armor. I don't think I'm going to long rest because, well, I think we just got to go craft the freaking armor, and then we can just head on out. But I was looking at these molds. If we can get two pieces, we got a bunch of molds here, and then we got two mithril ores. If we can get two pieces, I'm probably going to get Ari the chest piece, which is the medium armor, and then the shield. I did some things and stuff off camera, a lot of things and stuff. I cleaned out the inventory for one. I gave Will a different weapon. I gave him the gold wormland staff. It's literally the best. Oh, look. Thanks to the tips, I can figure out. You can press this button here, and then you can kind of just, uh, you know, pick items. He just, everything else is just kind of not really great on Will. This staff is actually pretty fucking beast on Will. I noticed last episode when Will actually hit something, it did a good deal of damage. It wasn't bad. And that was a staff. But I put the Morning Frost staff on Gale. And now Will has a staff, but he also has a shield. I don't think it would matter too much that Will has a shield. I couldn't put a shield on Gale my attention. for some reason. Oh, I can. No, I can put a shield on Gale, but the reason I don't is because of this right here. The wearer has a plus one bonus to armor class and saving throws as long as they... Uh, wait, no. Wait, what? Hold on. There was something. Oh, the bracers of the fence right here. You gain a plus two bonus to armor class as long as you are not wearing armor or holding a shield. So he's just wearing clothes. We'll just go with that on him for now. And then Astorian, I respect Astorian, he has a few less ability points, but he has the dual wielder spec now, so he has on a rapier, main hand, and then a short sword offhand. He's good. I will probably put him back onto hand crossbows, but we haven't tried out the bow of the banshee yet, so I want to see what's going on. But other than that, that was pretty much it. And then, just minor things, like I updated everyone's gear. Lazale finally has gear. She looks amazing in this Speak. gear. Look at her. Look how good she looks. I really uh, hate myself for breaking her off. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I'm, re I'm really upset about that. I wish I didn't. Salutations. But you live, you learn. Unless we can get back with her, can we? Is it possible? Maybe. We should have just took the, uh, the romance a bit farther, but... Let's level Gale up. Let's see what old... Man, that armor's sick. Look at this armor on Gale. It looks awesome. That's another reason why I'm not long resting is because, well, we don't really need to. Okay, so he has undead thralls. Animate dead, level three. Create an undead servant from a corpse. This is a level three version of it, though. Who? Subclass feature when you animate dead you can raise an additional corpse uh yes please creatures created with animate dead have an additional hit points equal to your wizard level and your proficiency bonus is added to their damage oh man that is so good i'm gonna put counter spell on gale immediately i'm probably gonna take that off a of will reason being is because warlocks um well, they can't use as much spell slots as, uh, like, wizards, right? That's what it seems like. Will was going pretty empty on spell slots immediately. Is there any other necromancy faint death? Put an ally in a protective coma. They become resistant to all damage except psychic damage? Yeah, but... Put an ally in a protective coma. They become resistant to all damage except... Phys psychic, I want to always say physic. I don't know why I say that. Psychic damage, disease, and poison have no effect. Oh, that sounds really good. Grant flight. Gaseous form. But well, we're going to have to do level threes here. Should we do this faint death? It seems pretty awesome. This fear is pretty awesome too, though. Vampiric touch. This is another... See, what does he already have? Does he have R Vampiric Touch? Prepare spells. This is what he has. 
He's got counter spell now. Fireball. Magic missiles. Scorching Ray. Do we need Scorching Ray? I'm gonna take out Scorching Ray. We need some cold stuff for the staff here. Ice knife. That's about. Is that the only cold spell? Blink. Ooh, that sounds good. I feel like we already have anime dead, right? Am I just? Let me exit real quick. Let me see what. Let me see what he has. He already has anime dead. It's a level three, so if we give him anime dead, that would be useless, right? Yeah. I'm pretty undead thralls. Target must be medium or small corpse. Yeah, but we already have. It's not in the. It's because he has. God damn it. <laughs> Why can you animate dead? Why are you able to? Why does he have anime dead here, but we're also... This is a level three. I don't understand here. What am I What am I not understanding? So nothing he has will be anime dead. Weapon-wise. Fear and wounded ray. But he already has anime dead. Undead Thralls. It's not a prepared spell. I mean, let's give her Scorching Ray. I don't feel like Ice Knife is... It's a level 1 spell. Are we really going to give him a level 1 cold spell, or should we just wait? What else has cold damage? Fire, fire, fire. Protection from energy. We can give him Glyph of Warding, and then we can use co the Cold Glyph. We might as well give him Glyph of Warding. Spells. Counter Spell. And then, is there any other Cold stuff? I'm thinking Faint Death, honestly. Remove Curse sounds pretty awesome, too. Sleet Storm. Call forth a storm that disrupts the concentration of Spellcasters. Douses fire and creates ice surface. Ooh. Sleet storm. Sounds really awesome. Stinking cloud. Vampiric touch. Arcane lock. Well, it's either this sleet storm or we're going to do faint death. Concentration. Let's give him sleet storm. Look, I gave him this... We didn't give him... Anime Dead here. But it already gives us Anime Dead. I don't understand where, how he's getting Anime Dead, but it's... We have it here, it's not prepared. Okay, let's just go. We'll figure it out as we go. I mean, he still has Anime Dead here. Does it matter, or does it give us two? Oh, shit. It gives us two, doesn't it? Let me fix that. Okay. I went back and just... Popped the load and then... Seen if it gave us two. It literally... It just... It doesn't change anything. It's still... This is still a level three spell. But I'm not understanding... So they give us an... A new one? Or does it just... Or do they finally get us animate... Animate dead now? But we already animated dead before. Remember Undead Fred? So... Ray of Frost and Ray... He's got double Ray of Frost. Wait a second here. With wizards and stuff. So confused. Why am I so confused here? Let me see if we can... Light... Color spray? We really want color spray fear. Can we do all this stuff? Just learn it all?
You're a smart boy now, Gale. Even smarter than what you already were, you beast. We already have anime dead. So... We have three level threes. How many level three spots does he even have? Three? Well, we have four level threes. Bestow curse. Okay. So, if we get rid of, like, let's just say... What can we even get rid of on him? Why do we have two Ray of Frosts? <laughs> we have a cantrip, and we get it from the weapon itself. Cantrip and cantrip. So, can we... We can't get rid of his cantrip and put another cantrip in, so we have two. I mean, it is what it is. It's just extra. If we end up getting a better staff at some point, now we still got Ray of Frost anyway. Makes sense? Makes sense. Poison spray? It's just a little bit confusing is all. We got Vampiric Touch now. Touch an enemy to siphon their life force. And this is a level 3. So if we get rid of... Curse a creature with your attack. The curse either bestows disadvantage on checks and saving throws or attacks. Let you deal an additional damage to the target. That's really good. Hit it and then we do more damage. Or do we want Vampiric Touch? It's a concentration. I just need to siphon their life force and regain half a health. Half, ha okay, makes sense. Just go with Bestow Curse. Let's just, let's just go. I want to see, I want to see my armor, damn it. Never quiet. Are he's good? Let's just get out. Leave camp. I think we're good. We've been in camp way too long here. Fumbling around doing things and stuff. So, let me check something out here. We had a bunch of scrolls. Does Gale... Does it use the scrolls on us too? When he can learn? Should we put this necklace on? <laughs> Hi, spirits. The amulet spirit lingers, making everything seem just a little more vibrant. Must succeed wisdom saving throw when using the amulet's power or become hysterical. Oh. We can wear this, but we gotta exceed... This won't matter. Right? Talk to the amulet. Should we talk to our friend? Speak with the consciousness lingering inside the amulet. Let's speak Thou to him again. Thou shalt return to me. <laughs> Thou shalt have my blessing. Hey, friend! I will take you to your grandmother or granddaughter. <laughs> Keep the amulet equipped. What are his attachments we are right now? I will take you to your granddaughter at Worms Cross. I shall walk with thee. I shall grant you my power. <laughs> <laughs> you feel a equipment. chuckle coming on, but it soon fades. Should we just keep the amulet on? I mean, what's the point? I mean, if we use this, then we have to succeed a wisdom saving throw. What the hell's our wisdom looking at? Ten? Oh, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be um, hurting. All right, friends, can you guys get up here without burning yourselves alive, please? Let's go. Why are you going to go over there, Ori? You silly goose, you. Friends, I'm excited to see how this forge is going to work out. I'm excited, but not only am I excited, I'm pretty... Well, I'm excited about the forge, obviously. But I'm super excited about just kind of getting to the... Oh, there's a bottom part here. Platform control. Forge lever. Is there a button up here too? No. Forge lever. Let's 
let's press some levers. We got stuff over here, mold chamber, mold injection. Holy moly! What the actual fuck? Can we do it again? Whoa! That's so cool! Alright, so my guess is... What's it down here? Oh, no one here. Can we put stuff in the mold chamber? Will? Go back to camp? What are you doing? Come here. Let me get... You guys stay over there. What to do? All right, what Give me now? some damn space to work here. We got a crucible and a mold chamber. What are we going to use in the mold chamber first? How do we even do this? Obviously, lay the hammer down. Let's put something in the mold chamber. Let's insert... Mold shield. Heavy. Scale mail mold medium. Can't use that right now. Scale mail mold medium. Perfect fit. I need the raw materials. Won't budge. No use. It's blocked. Mold. Injection. Injection labor. Oh, it injects it. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, it says it. Hey, man. You don't have to get over here or something, alright? Let me put that medium back. Scale male mode schmedium. Let's put that back. Let me just make sure I'm doing the right damn thing. Medium. Get in there. Now. Crucible. No control in story event. And here, I'm guessing we'd have to put the mithril ore in here. Possibly. Yeah. Insert. Successfully inserted. Boom. Hammer down. Who wants to do the a story and you do it? You know you want to. Press this button here. Oh shit, we're going down to get our armor! Cool! Hit me with the good stuff, baby! What's that red over there? Arriving in style. I rather like it. You did it. You pressed the lever. <laughs> you fucking beast, you. What happened? Alright. Wait. On my way. Oh, come back over here. Mm. What the hell you do? You want to get off of there, Gail? I'll start to press that lever and you'd be screwed. Let's get going. <laughs> Where's the armor? Cool! Scale mail media. Hey! That didn't work. What are we not, what are we not doing right here? Let me put that back on. Scale, male, medium. Insert. Ore and mold. But they still need the lava to bind them. Oh! We need lava to bind them. Yeah, that's what we read. That's right. Then we read that in... We read that in the journal. What the fuck is there lava? We can just get some cups and start fucking pouring it in. Wait, there's a... Oh, a lava valve here. 
Oh, let's press some buttons over here. This is going to inject lava into it. And then maybe we gotta press the, uh... What the fuck was that? Did you see that? Let there be lava. Fucking massive! Melting. Hey guys, how are Holy hell, thank goodness we put them over there. They would have been over here just in the lava. Holy hell. Not enough resources. Another fight. Hold on here. Let's go. We're gonna start with Ari, but let me examine this son of a bitch. 450 health! Holy hell! <laughs> 24 strength, 24 constitution, Salashin resistance, piercing resistance, bludgeoning vulnerability, acid resistance, thunder resistance, necrotic immunity, fire immunity, lightning immunity, all oh, gale, no. Cold resistance, Bludgeoning is the only thing we can do with this mother ever. Superheated? Exposure to lava causes Grimm's adamantine body to soften. Can now be affected by certain damage types. And is vulnerable to bludgeoning. That is a lot of resistances, friends. This superheat, though. Exposure to lava has caused Grimm's adamantine body to soften. Can now be affected by certain damage types and is vulnerable to bludgeoning. We have to keep him in lava. But the thing is... Holy shit! You know what we can do? We can drop the fucking hammer on this mother effer. <laughs> Let's drop the hammer on him. Hold on, this is a bonus action? How are we gonna not die though? Light on this is my not feet. a bonus action though. We can move. We can jump here. Okay. Can we move again? Cool! We can get Connor out. Range attack. 9% chance to hit him. Totally missed. We should have just got Connor out, but hell. Let's just at least try to hit him. Totally missed again! Which is fine. So if we lead... If we... Lead this guy here... gonna lead him here though pass with everybody else possibly the dance macabre we're gonna pass with Ari who wants to be the forge guy but we might as well just keep him keep all these guys here let's cutting action high with a storium and then well we can pass with a storian Get Will out of his field of view so we don't see him and just have him run towards Ari and then we'll drop the hammer on him. Though I'm just scared that it might actually kill Ari here. Or the quake of it knock him into the lava. This can't be how it's supposed to be, right? Maybe? Can we? We're gonna fucking try. That's all we can do, really. Let's pass. And then if we pass with Gale, let's get Gale over here a little bit more. 
and then pass with Gale. Lincoln. Hey Grim, take care. Take take it easy. Don't kill me. He's on the thing. Let's drop it with a Storian on top of him. We got people on. You just tickled him, Astorian. You knocked his ass prone, too, my friend. Well. I feel like we're going to have to have somebody at this lever here. And we're also going to have... Ori's going to need some help over here. We can Misty Step over here with Astorian. And then keep Will or Gale over here. Here. Astorian's got pretty good range too, but... Gale has better range. Hey, Misty stat with Astorian. How the f*** are we gonna play this out here? It would I think we'd just keep knocking his ass prone with this every turn. We'd be fine. Wait, he's no longer... Look, he's fucking immune to everything now. Why? Is it because he's prone? He's immune? Astorian, I'm not sure what we can do here. Let's put you cut in action hide again. Know. We'll work on Will. We got some distance here with Will. Where we can hit these fuckers? No. Making my Let's move. get Will a little bit closer over here. And see if we can work on these. That's my place. That one's dead. Very nice, Will. My man. Now it's Gale's turn. We get magic missiles. One, two, three. Okay, it's too far. Two. That's fine. Really much damage, but hey, I guess damage is damage. We should have used the glyph of warding, put the glyph right here, and they would have came into it and just got blown the hell up. Son of a bitch. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Ori, get Connor out. Right here. Okay. I guess we can try to hit him. That's fine. It's his turn now, though. Where's he gonna go? Red assessment. Counterspell. Heat metal on Ari. Magma method. What's he doing? Oh, there are methods now too. Wonderful. He's superheated again. Hey, historian, drop that hammer on this son of a bitch. Again. He's so fucking heavy, I love it. Just keep dropping the hammer, my friend! This is easy peasy. <laughs> He's at 174 already. Connor did look, Connor is just smelly. He's good to go. He's got one health. He's just smelly. <laughs> fucking monster, you Connor. Love it! The go back in Estelle. Man. You got the threat assessment on you, that's right. Unfortunately, wait, Ari's got the threat, so he's, he's the one that's threatened. Wait. The enemy is close, has a disadvantage on ranged attacks. Oh, okay, no biggie, I get it. How is this trying again? I wanted to see if they can still go into stealth. I know, I know. I suck at the stealth thing, but like I was wondering if you can, even if it's red, can you still try to cutting action hide and it rolls for it? I know it's best to get out of the red, of course, and then use it. But I just wanted to press on something. The else. Path. Gale? Will. I can always say the wrong damn names. Let's knock this method back off of Ari a little bit. And then this one's gonna This one's going down to his death probably. We missed on that one. 
Hey, I mean, you did something. Which is better than nothing. Let me see if I can do Cold Glyph right here. Written. Hey, uh, Gail. <laughs> you just walked in it, my friend, but I controlled you, so I'm sorry about that. I really am. We killed the. Behold, the dumb two, though. Death. But what I can do. <laughs> get this guy. Do I want to grab his attention? He's invisible now. Now he's not. What we're gonna do is who's he on? He's on a story, and he's gonna go towards a story. And now I might be able to stop him with Connor. See, because if we put him on Ari, he's gonna come this way, and he's gonna get off of that probably, right? Let's pass with Ari. Connor, right here. Can't hit him though, unfortunately. Hey Grim, he's up and about, friends. Jesus. Good grief. That nearly killed. Well. Is he, he's superheated. Let's drop the hammer on him. Once again with a Storian. How you like that, mother effer? 32. A Storian, can you. If I potion a speed, can you throw a potion at. Gale? When see this coming. Ha! Very good, very good. You were a quarterback back in your day, weren't you? <laughs> okay. We'll make this happen. This is my time. This is your time. You're a beast, aren't you? I think we should throw a greater at Ari. Ah. Melting? Who's melting? Is Ari melting? No. Maybe the potion was melting. Will can take another potion, but I don't really want another potion with Will. Fleet of Let's get some distance over here. One can't always be a gentleman. You are the gentleman of all gentlemen. Take a potion. That's fine. You should be okay for now. No one did any damage to this thing. It's immune anyway. F6. Okay. Can we turn him around? Oh! Wait a second! We just pick up the armor in combat. That works. Holy shit, it's a purple! Look at this magical beast of armor! Wear it. Oh, I can't wear it right now. We're not going to read it right now. I'm going to save my excitement. But we picked up the armor, friends! We're good to go now. Hell yes. We got his attention, so let's just pepper his ass, I guess, at this point. Ah, oh, we should have got Connor's beast out. Miss and miss. Get on up. Start assessment. Hey, man, don't hit me, all right? Are you fired up? Because if you're fired up, you're done. Oh, he's fucking... He's immune to damage right now, so we can't... Why is he immune? Is he not in lava? Not in enough lava? He's prone now though, at least. That's something. I wonder if... Step quick. Let me see something. Because Astorian's kind of a beast with movement. What if we press this wheel over here? Let's now cunning action... Dash. Still prone. 
Okay. Forever dauntless. Well, you can't do. He's still prone. He can't take any damage, right? Damn it! He's not taking no damage. I'm just wondering if I should get his attention with Will here. Have him run this way and then run back. The lance board is set. I think you should heal again. You have another help potion anywhere? Okay. You're good. What you should do. He's gonna walk in the lava though. Let's put this right here. Okay. And if he walks at Will, he'll take some damage. Can't even catch my breath. I'm gonna get Connor out. I think that's the best bet. I don't know who he's threat who he's on. He's super heated now. Ari! Good rinse! Take that, you stupid clunky! Whatever you are! <laughs> Take that, you stupid clunking! Whatever you are! <laughs> fucking right, that was so cool, man! That was so fucking badass and cool! Connor just. What a beast! <laughs> Pretty little glyph you got here. Grim Skull Helm. I was just thinking to myself, oh, it's a heavy. When I was looking at armor off camera, I was like, man, we need a helmet. Okay, it puts Hunter's Mark. Attackers can't land critical hits on the wearer. Damn, that's going on Carlac, or it's going on... I'll hold it. That was so cool. Grim, you were a formidable enemy, my friend. What are you doing, Ari? Alright, right, I am not looking at um, the armor just yet. I'm excited, man. Oh, that was so fucking awesome. <laughs> I got like a little high going on right now. <laughs> From that kill. So cool. What is that? Oh, that's your arm, Grim. Or your leg. It fell off. Astorian gave you the fucking business. Richard he was so David happy. Take that, whatever you are. <laughs> Ooh. All right, let's put something else no in the use. mold chamber. It's blocked. No use. It's blocked. There we go. Let us put another mold in. We got a sweet helmet. I ain't looking at it yet. I know I want to. I'm so excited. But we're doing the shield now. Ari needs a shield. I'm pretty pretty sure he's probably going to carry a shield forever. Shield mold. Okay. We got the shield inserted. Grim, you're kind of in the way here. I can't pick it up. We can't move Grim either, can we? Scale mail mold medium. Can we make another one? Of scale mail? No. Oh. I don't want another. Well, that would be pretty awesome, actually. Let's put in the shield. Shield mold. We only have one more mithril ore though. Put the mithril ore in here. Right? Mithril ore. Insert. Okay. 
You guys own something good because hey, it's going to get door. fired up here in a second, I think. Astorian, I know Careful. you. I bite. I know you do. But you like to press this lever. I won't let you press it again. Fucking silly goose. Still breathing. Go over Just here with Ari. Everything. I think we're going to go we're going to need more lava. There's no shortage of that anywhere. So. There we go. How you like that, Grim, you son of a bitch? Now, Astorian. Lay it down. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give that shield! There goes the lava, though. Still in control. <laughs> Just. Just to keep going. Forge is awesome. I love it. Adamantine shield. Look at that shield. Alright, let's get everybody back in. I feel naked here not having my companions. Our companions are friends in the uh, party here. Yeah, go stand on that, Gale. <laughs> well, they just die instantly if we smashed them. That would be crazy. Adamantine shield. When a melee attack misses you, the attacker is sent reeling for two turns. What does reeling do? Recover from receiving a terrible blow or hitting a strong metal. Has a minus one attack penalty on attack rolls for every turn remaining. Oh man, that's so good. Shield bash. Passive creature. When a foe hits you with a melee attack, you can use your reaction to knock it prone Unless they succeed a dexterity saving throw. Oh, that is so fucking good. Give me that. Let me look at Ari with that stuff on. Get them beauty other things away. Oh, that shield is so cool. It don't match whatsoever. But it looks so awesome. Friends, coming down to the Grimforge was so worth it, man. We had so much cool things. All right, well, that's good. We got a shield here. I guess we can send this one back to... Here. I want to give this to you. Let's say, oh, you hold on to that. 16. Magical plate. All incoming damage is reduced by one. Adamantine backlash. When a melee attacker hits you, the attacker is sent reeling for two turns. <laughs> so they just get reeling from this and my shield. Disadvantage on stealth checks, that's fine. Attackers can't land critical hits on the wearer. They can't critical hit us at all. That armor is so good. What's it look like? Oh. That looks pretty cool. But it just looks like that basic ass armor that we had for so long. But it's just updated. It looks so it looks really good though. It's got more armor on the arms here. It's got the uh, shoulder pads going on here. It's got knee pads now. It looks pretty good. All we gotta do is just dye the stuff. Let's give it a good dye. Let's get... What are we gonna do? We got we got any blue dye here? Blue dye, come on. Give us some blue dye, because our shield is blue. We can't dye our shield, so we want to do everything. I don't think we have blue dye. To be fair, red dye would look pretty awesome, too. We got three red dyes. We can do... The boots? Do the boots even need to do red? I don't think the boots do. Where's blue dye? Black and white dye. Let's try... You can remove the dye colorants. That works. The black and white dye, it's a bit more... Interesting. Should we try red, though? I hate to have to... I kind of like that. We'll just go with that. At least the black, I mean, it, fix, it, it goes with these boots. Really go with the gloves. Let's use combine with the gloves. There we go, now the gloves fit. We're gonna keep the back red. I think I want to make it black. No. 
combined. Very good. It matches now. That matches as best as we can do it for now. Looks pretty good. All things considered, the boots, uh, they're already black. I don't think changing the color would even matter on the boots that much. Look at Ari. Friends, look at him. You look so good, man. You look fucking awesome, Ari. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise, sir. Woo! <laughs> we done in the Grim Forge? All I want to keep doing is, woo! <laughs> that was so exciting, man. I love it. Well, friends, I think we're done here. We can go back in long rest. I think that's probably for the best. Let's go back to camp. Oh, to be fair, should we go over here? Let's see what happens if we go to this area. So awesome. I fucking love it. Oh, we still got people here. They're still here and about. I didn't I don't know when they're gonna leave. Because I wanna steal this stuff, but I don't want to fight these guys, really. Are they still here? I don't see anybody here at all. Oh, there you are. So everyone's just gonna stay here. Until... Where's he at? There he is. Let me see if he has anything else. What? I got big plans for us. Ain't no one stopping Clan Flameshade. Good for you, my friend. Alright, let's go turn some stuff in. We'll go to the Mykonoi camp. We'll leave this area. Maybe we can come back. We'll Let's turn the um, I should get a mask. the head into Sovereign Spall. Or like head the head. <laughs> Spent much time in the underdog. Some. And you? Seems a perfect hunting ground for, you know. Perfect. You tried drinking an Earth Elemental's blood. Wait, what? You drinking Earth Elemental's blood? Let's go to camp. We're going to need to get Karlak to send us that head. At least. Hold on here. Oh, nice. A better camp. Hey, Barkus. Whoa, how'd I do that? Who are we going to send that helmet to? Not her. Definitely not Karlak. It's Lizelle's helmet now. Proficiency on wisdom saving throws. Okay. No biggie. No one stopped me yet. Gonna send that helmet to Lizelle. No, we're actually gonna be using Lizelle quite a bit. We'll send this chainmail back to is this medium? Well, and Shadow Heart. Carlac, maybe. We'll send to Lazale. Send this to Lazale as well. These molds, I guess we can just send them back to camp. What's the point in using them? Or holding them in the inventory here? Look how much fucking better our inventory is. I sent Carlac our big ol' al or alchemy bag as well. This, we can just sell this slab. That's fine, we'll sell it. But let's go to, hold on here. Go to Lazale. Put this helmet on you. Let me see what it looks like. Oh man, that thing is sick. Man, that thing is badass. Hunter's Mark. Well, it gives you Hunter's Mark. You didn't have Hunter's Mark before, right? Oh, that's Shatter. That's me. <laughs> I don't think she had Hunter's Mark anyway. Let's hide that. She's got so much trash on her. I think we want to come back here for the head. Send this to... Ari. Thanks for the head. <laughs> Thanks for the head, Carlac. Really appreciate that. At least they're peaceful. Hey! 
They're all back here. Ula. No need for me to ask how you fared. Some of my kin have already made it here, safe and sound. It's past time we were back in the city. But if you find yourself there, call on us. The Iron Hand Gnomes are good friends to have. I know about the rune powder. I think I'll steer clear. Your leader is still locked up in Moonrise Towers. Yeah, what will you do when you return? Yeah, your leader is still locked up. I, I heard about Walbrun. But the cause is bigger than any one of us. You've made sure his work is done, even if he's not there to see it. He'd be grateful. Thank you. I don't know half of what they're saying. So, we're here. Of the spirit. We found the amulet. It has been possessed by a spirit. The spirit wishes to be returned to his granddaughter. She lives at the Open Hand Temple in the Worms Crossing. Yeah, but... Oh... We use adamantine for as a craft, something of legend. If we find more ore, we can do it again. We just need to find more ore, we can go back and do it again. Is there a cellar? Oh, the necromancy of Thay. So, the liver near his head is all we got here. We don't need to... Our work is bigger. A little more rest, oh, and I'll be ready to get out of here. Let me talk to everybody else. Hey, well, so you saved my skin, but there's more bastards out there. For every one you kill, pint on me. I'll whoop all their asses just for you, pal. Thanks again for offing that drow. Only made it here because of you. But I can't stop thinking about the rest of us stuck in Moonrise with a bunch of sadists. Poor bastards. I'm gonna do everything I can to free your people. Somehow you The Mykonids are trying to help, but I keep seeing my friends in Moonrise screaming. I'm gonna get them all out. We already talked to you, Luckbug. Luckbug. We've had some rest. I think we did. Iron Hand keep us safe. They were talking and I ruined it. Hey friend, look, I got this head, I'll just uh you know. I don't know half of what they're saying. Peace bringer. Be at home. I brought you Nier's head. <laughs> Hold on. Somehow you Hold on. I don't know why I just thought of this. <laughs> <laughs> Scratchy! Go get it, boy! <laughs> one more time, man. One more time for a gold ties. Throw. Throw it in Borges. <laughs> Throw it next to Carlac. Go get it, Scratch! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Playing fetch with Nier's head. We've had some rest. <laughs> Maybe we can Hey Cyrus Paul! Be Springer. Be at home. I ain't been drinking. Not yet. I brought you Nier's head. The drow sought to shatter our circle. Now his flesh may feed its growth. In dealing death, you have brought this circle life, and thus we name you Life Chanter. Life Chanter? As our circle grows, so shall your song. Wherever you go, only listen, and you may hear it. Oh, what do we got here? Rest. Maybe we can still go back for the others. Voice of the no. circle. What the hell does that do? 
Grant an ally a plus two bonus to persuasion checks. Very nice. Oh, that's really cool. Who's got a shitty necklace? Well, hello. Get the, story. Get the misty step. Sharp as ever. You got magic missile one. Let's go have magic. These things have I have to go to Carlac or something. Carlac got the guidance necklace though. Unforge. We'll figure something out with this. The the check is really good. Bye. Look, they're just dancing I for us. I love it. Hey, Sovereign Spall, you you have anything else? Let's talk to him one more time. Peace, Springer. Be at home. I thought I was the chanter person. Peace, Springer. Our work <laughs> is bigger than any one of us. Let's be on my way. <laughs> Let's go talk to Blurgan Amulum. <laughs> Where's Amelium? Perhaps Amelium is right. I should get him first. Where's Amelium? Hey, where's Amelium? Welcome back. Have you made any new discoveries? Can I talk to Amelium again? Let me see if it will answer my summons a second time. Hey! Oh, Blurg. Are you in need of my expertise? Let's talk to Amelium. Uh, not I, but... I greet you, yes, friend sorry. of the dark. Let me see your wares. There's no trusting a Mind Flayer attack. Let me see your wares. What do you got going on, friend? Boots a Stormy Clamor. Arcane... Echo Malfaction. When the wearer inflicts a condition upon a hostile creature, they also inflict two turns of... Reaver... Affected enemy has a minus one penalty to strength, dexterity, and constitution saving throws per remaining turn. While the enemy has five or more turns of reverberation, it takes one to four thunder damage and possibly falls prone. This is fucking good. <laughs> this is a good ass pair of boots. Creatures immune to thunder damage can't receive reverberation. Is this better than these boots? I kind of think they are. This just gives us Missy Step, but we can't be entangled and snared. I'm gonna buy these boots. They seem really good. And yeah, necklace or ring. Savior's Allure, you restore an additional two hit points every time you heal another creature. Fine. Well, let's get it. Elixir of. I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna buy that. Quarter staff. When the wearer is obscured in shadow. Sure, let's buy that. 700. Do we need this staff? If the wielder deals acid damage, fire, lightning, radiant, and necrotic damage, it becomes resistant to that type of damage for two turns. I don't think we need this staff. Gonna buy this too. Why not? Let's buy that book. I feel like if we don't buy this staff, we need to sell shit back to him, though. I can't leave. We had to sell stuff back to him. I'm gonna buy this just to sell stuff back to him. To see if we can make up our money. And axe? Sure. Let me just sell a few things off here. Well, we made a little bit of money back, but I got a lot of stuff in the chest that I really want to sell. I think we should do that. May your travels be safe and swift. Just the last time I left this place and came back, or just left How out of the episode. And came back. Progressing. Not Their the stuff went away. But anyways, my friends, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save here. And when we get back, we are going to finally head back up top. 
And we were going to go through the mountain pass to do Lazale stuff. I think we got everything. Rescue Wolverine. Rescue the Grand Duke. Hell with the spirit with the amulet. We got to free the artist still. The urge. Orpheus. Artifacts. Boomerize Towers. Find a cure. Companions. Yeah, everything's done. We've already turned in the refugees. Or not the refugees. We already turned in save the gnomes. Rescue the gnomes here. That's already done. So. I think we're good. But anyways, my friends, I'm out of here. Have a good one. Stay safe. See you next time. Take care.